on the day of your interview, the last thing you want to be thinking about is how you look. Having your makeup done professionally can help you focus on delivering your message. We talked with makeup artist Rebecca Simmons as she prepares her client for a television interview. Here are some useful tips from that demonstration. When it comes to going on camera, you're going to want to look your best. And that means that you probably are going to want to consider putting on makeup. I'm with professional television makeup artist Rebecca Simmons. Is that the case, Rebecca? Put on makeup when you're going to be on television, and if so, why? Uh, yes, because you do want you to look your best as, pos as possible. So what, what does makeup do? Does it kind of like even out the color on the skin? Like what are, what are the it things? It does. It evens out your skin tone. It takes away some shine. Um, helps with circles under the eyes um, and defines certain aspects of your face that you want to be defined. So we've got um, Brenda here. Yes. So what, what's, where do you start here with Brenda? So we can start with a clean face. So what is that that you're just using It's just there? a bit of toner. And it just sort just of strips away anything that during the day may have kind of gathered on exactly. the skin? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. If you're on camera sometimes, especially if you're in front of the lights, you have a tendency to heat up a bit and then your skin can get a little bit blotchy and a little bit more uneven than you would normally be. So um, I would add a bit of foundation. And I'm going to go with her, the darkest part, sort of the medium to the darkest part of her skin color. Now, what about her neck? What about her ears? What do you do there? Um, now for her neck, uh, because uh, you have to worry about shirt collars and blouses and things like that, I have a tendency to just use a bronzer, which is a powder. Mm -hmm. um, it can be cream or powder, but I use it just under here just to bring the color down a little bit. Okay. Um, uh, just so I don't get makeup on clothing. All right, so where are you going next? Now I'm gonna set it with some powder. And I'm just, I like to use a brush because it doesn't, uh, it doesn't make it too cakey. Mm -hmm. It starts to take the shine down. Yeah, it deadens the light off of her skin, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and it's, and what it does too is, um, you know, a lot of times people start to perspire a bit mm -hmm. and you need something to set the makeup. Now is it gonna be different for, for, for a man? Pretty much the same. Just. As yeah. we've done, Brenda, so far, yeah. is all you would need to do for a man. Yeah. Okay. So I noticed that you actually have your hand, like you're touching her face and so mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. There are times when you've got makeup on and you're thinking, I got an itch. Right. Am I allowed to touch it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you are, but I always say, you know, you just, you just put your finger there and you just go like this instead of, you don't like, scratch. You don't scratch, okay. And it's like, you know, I say with people, they're going to cry at their wedding just to dab, don't wipe. Don't ever wipe. You can just like... You no can, wiping, no scratching. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Roughly how long does it take to do somebody's makeup? You know, a woman can be 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, to an hour, and a man, uh, like, can be 10 minutes, five minutes. Just depends. Yeah, it just depends. And look up. So for a lot of people who might be having a, what amounts to a very high stakes interview. Yes. It's fundamentally important for them to consider bringing in somebody to do their makeup in advance of that interview. Yes, I would. Yeah. yeah to just, you feel, you feel comfortable with yourself, you feel confident. And uh, I mean, that's why a lot of people like to come in and see their makeup artists before they go on air because just that time with the person, they feel that they look their absolute best and, uh, to go on camera. For sure. Well, it's about elevating absolutely every single aspect of your performance. Yes, isn't it, it yeah. is true, yes. And just look up for me, Brenda. And even though it's news, mm -hmm. it's still a performance. Yes, it is. It mm -hmm. is still a performance. And the thing is, is that people are still looking, they're looking at you yes. and they're listening, uh, but they're looking at you first. And if they get distracted by anything that they think is not, you know, acceptable or what they like, or they think it's, you know, disheveled or whatever, um, they'll focus on it instead of focusing on what you have to say. You just sort of, you, you really do put things in layers. Mm -hmm. And then that, too, is also the best way to get the most natural look. What wouldn't hurt is to, to have her eyebrows done. I would probably go in to esthetician. Mm -hmm. um, because, and the thing is, because you don't want the makeup artist to do it right before right. you have your makeup done. It's better to go in, have your brows done in a separate session. Just done, to clean up any hairs. Just to clean them up okay. to open up the eye a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So how would somebody find you if they were 
uh, saying, oh my gosh, now I'm going to be on, on camera. I, uh, uh, I saw that makeup piece. Where do I find a makeup artist? Just on the internet? Uh, yes, you can find a makeup artist on the internet. You can mm-hmm. find them at a salon. Um, you can find them at a TV station, depending on where you, you know, what sort of level of experience mm-hmm. you want and what you want done. But yeah, there's several different avenues. I like to feather the pencil in, define the outside of the lip without too much definition. Mm-hmm. And I find it, definition is a good thing for a television camera, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Because yeah. a lot of times with uh, the camera and lighting. It can flatten things out, right? It can right? flatten things out, yeah. exactly. And then this is it, the, the final And this powder? is just a, a bronzing powder. Mm-hmm. And it just adds a nice glow. Mm-hmm which matches the skin tone and it gives um, some smoothness to the skin. And there you have it. And there you go. But it makes all the difference in the world. It does, yes, it does. Brings out her eyes, her cheeks, her lips. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Brenda looks fantastic. Thank you, you, Brenda. Brenda? I feel great, thank you. Yeah, you look wonderful. Thank you very much. If you are about to assume the role that makes you the face of your company, you may want to consider having your makeup done professionally. Looking your best helps you to remain confident and, of course, stay on message.